Terror is a terrible thing, and terror really needs to be fought. We see terrible attacks hitting many places in Europe. Also in my own country, Denmark, in the town of Copenhagen, we have had terror attacks. Dear colleagues, we shall not let extremists divide us. We need to stand together in solidarity against hate. The extremists wants to destroy freedom and democracy. All of us who want freedom and democracy should stand together. We cannot win the fight against terror by compromising on human rights. We cannot win the fight against terror by compromising on democracy. And we cannot win the fight against terror by allowing governments to terror label the opposition in their countries. Unfortunately, unfortunately, that is exactly what we see happening in member states in the Council of Europe. I had myself the honor to be invited as an election observer to participate in the delegation from this assembly to go to the Turkish referendum. And as you are all aware, the Turkish referendum did not live up to democratic standards. So when we in the delegation said this clearly, it was clear that the President Erdogan became angry with us. And all of a sudden, I, who was invited by Erdogan's government himself to come to Turkey, was pointed at as a terrorist. As a terrorist. And one of my colleagues was also pointed at by the Turkish president as a terrorist. Very luckily, I'm not a parliamentarian in Turkey. If I were a parliamentarian in Turkey, I would probably be jailed right now, as many of our colleagues are. But I'm a parliamentarian in Denmark, so I can still stand here today with you and tell my story. And this shows that in Turkey, we have a situation. We have a situation where the fight against terror is not taken serious, where it is misused to jail the opposition. Dear colleagues, that is simply not acceptable. That is simply not acceptable that a member state country in the Council of Europe misuses the fight against terror to jail it own, its own opposition. So when we say clearly today that terror should be fought, it is also very important that we say very clearly to the Turkish delegation that the jailed parliamentarians, that the jailed opposition has to be released. Thank you.